Welcome to Lesson 2, Day 4. So let's begin. What sound does I make in the word itch? I, I, itch. Repeat after me. I, I, itch. Awesome. What sound does H make in the word hot? H, h hot. Repeat after me. H, h hot. Awesome sauce. What sound does R make in the word rabbit? R, r, rabbit. Repeat after me. R, r, rabbit. What sound does S make in the word sun. S, s, sun. Repeat after me. S, s, sun. Now don't forget, sometimes when S is at the end of the word, like the word his, it can make the z sound. Awesome. Okay. What sound does B make in the word bear? B, B, bear. Repeat after me. B, B, bear. Awesome. Okay, let's look at these words. Ball, bat, basket. What do you notice about these words? Yeah, they all have the letter B. Where is the letter B in all of these words? Yes, in the beginning of the word. What sound does the letter B make? Can someone remind me? Awesome, it makes the B sound. Excellent. What sound does G make in the word goose? G, G, goose. Repeat after me. G, G, goose. Excellent.
Can someone read these two words out loud? Okay, now I'm going to say some words out loud. You're gonna tell me if it has the short I sound. If it has the short I sound, you're going to give me a thumbs up. If it doesn't have the short I sound, you're gonna give me a thumbs down. The first word is sit. S-I-T. Does sit have the short I sound? Thumbs up, excellent. The next word is bat, b, a, t, bat. Does bat have the short I sound? No, that's a thumbs down. Great. The next word is fit, f, i, t, fit. Does fit have the short I sound? Yeah, thumbs up. The last word is mat. M a t mat. Thumbs down. It does not have the short i sound. Awesome sauce. Okay. Let's go over our high frequency words. This word is he. Can someone raise their hand and put he in a sentence? My sentence is, he will go to the park tomorrow. Awesome. This word is look. Can someone raise their hand and put the word look into a sentence? My sentence is, I will look for my missing crayons tomorrow. This word is have. Can someone put have in a sentence for me? My sentence is, I have chocolate chip cookies for dessert. This word is for. Can you put for in a sentence for me? My sentence is, this gift is for my mom. This word is to. Can you put to in a sentence for me? My sentence is, would you like some cake too? This word is what. Can someone put what in a sentence for me? My sentence is, what would you like for breakfast? Let's talk about context clues. Remember, context clues are clues that readers use to find out the meaning of unknown words within a passage, story, or text. So basically, you're trying to figure out what a word means. Let's try this example. She 
hand a letter to her aunt. What does hand mean? A strategy I can use to figure out what penned means is to plug in my choices. A says baked and B says wrote. So I'm going to plug the words back into the sentence. She baked a letter to her aunt or she wrote a letter to her aunt. Which one makes the most sense? Wrote. Excellent. Because you write a letter. You can't bake a letter. His dog bays at the moon. A howls or B swims. Just like before, I'm going to plug in my choices to help me figure out what bays mean. His dog howls at the moon or his dog swims at the moon. Which one makes the most sense? Yeah, A. His dog bays or howls at the moon. You can't swim at the moon. That makes no sense. Now you try this one. The sentence reads, the tiny mouse went into the little hole. Is it A big or B small? The big mouse went into the little hole or the small mouse went into the little hole? Yeah, B. The small mouse went into the little hole. So tiny means small. Let's try this one. We had a feast of turkey, potatoes, carrots, and pie. Is it A, dinner, or B, dance? We had a dinner of turkey, potatoes, carrots, and pie, or we had a dance of turkey, potatoes, carrots, and pie. A, A is the correct answer. We had a feast or dinner of turkey, potatoes, carrots, and pie. The rain poured down on the cold bear cubs. The rain kicked down the cold bear cubs. Or B, the rain fell down on the cold bear cubs. Which one means poured? Yeah, B. Fell. The rain fell down on the cold bear cubs. Excellent. When they woke up late, they had to hurry to school. Is it A, rush, or B, jump? 
A, rush. Why is rush the correct answer? Because if you wake up late and you have to get somewhere, you're usually rushing. Good job. So let's recall or remind ourselves what we read in the story, The Storm. The Storm is about Pop, who had to babysit Tim and Rip because Tim's parents went out for the evening. There was a storm outside, and Tim and Rip were scared. Remember how they hid under the covers when they saw the lightning and the thunderstorm? Then Pop had to comfort Tim and Rip by giving them a hug and sitting with them until they fell asleep. So now I'm going to be reading the story called Storms. Storms is an informational text. This story is going to give me information about storms. So as I'm reading this story, I want you to think about how the story, the storm, and storms, how are they the same, and how are they different? So let's read this story, storms. Storms. A storm is a strong wind with rain or snow. It may have hail or sleet. Warm, light air goes up quickly. It mixes with high, cold air. Look, it's a storm. This is a lightning storm in Pampa, Texas. Kinds of storms. A thunderstorm has thunder and lightning. It can bring heavy rain. A tornado is a strong, twisting wind. It is shaped like a cone. A hurricane is a very big storm. It has strong, spinning winds and rain. A dust storm is a strong wind that carries dust for miles. Let's read the labels on this page first. Rain gauge, thermometer, wind gauge, wind sock. Measuring storms. Scientists have tools for measuring storms. They measure heat and cold. They measure the wind. They measure rainfall and snowfall too. What storms have you seen before? So when you compare two or more stories, we use a graphic organizer called a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram shows you how the stories are the same and how they are different. Let's look at how the storm and the story storms are the same. Both stories talk about storms. You would write how they are the same in the middle or the center of the circle. Now let's look at how the story, the storm, and the story storms are different. We write that on the outside part of the circle. So let's look at genre first. The storm is a realistic fiction story and the story Storms is an informational text. The storm has characters, and the story Storms has no characters. The story The Storm have illustrations or drawings, and the story Storms have photographs. Can you think of anything else? of how these two stories are the same or different? Great work today. See you next time. Bye.